Now this is uh, a study regarding the prostate gland. How do we uh, measure the prostate gland and how do we scan it? How do we calculate the volume of the prostate gland? Now Presley group transversely at above the suprapubic region and with a relatively uh, 200 cc or 300 cc of uh, urinary bladder uh, filled with 200 or 300 cc uh, urine, then you place the probe, you will get the long transfer section of the uh, urinary bladder showing all the uh, walls. Now, you, when you will move the probe inferiorly or towards the leg of the patient, you will come across to uh, cystic uh, or hypopoic mustache-shaped area, which, is, which will be the seminal vesicle. As you will go down further, you will come across a globular, well demarcated area, which will be the prostate. Now, keeping it in the center of the uh, screen, that this area, you will angle the probe longitudinally, and you will get the longitudinal section of the prostate. Then, after having done gone through this maneuver, let's see how we will perform the, uh, calculate the measurements and uh, the uh, volume of the prostate. Now this is the, I have placed the probe above the suprapubic region. You are seeing all the four uh, walls of the urinary bladder in transfer section. I am going to move the probe inferiorly. Here I come across a moustache shaped structure. This is the seminal vesicle and uh, from here, when I go further down, I come across a globular area, which is the prostate in this particular patient. This globular area is the prostate in transfer section. Now I'll move the probe longitudinally, and here I get the longitudinal section of the uh, prostate. Now this is the prostate, in fact, then be careful, you will be getting a tail-like area uh, along the uh, lateral margin of this uh, prostate. And this tail-shaped area is the longitudinal section of the seminal vesicle. Please do not include this area in your measurement. Now, this is, I will I am going to magnify to get a better view. At times, you will have to go up and then go posterior. This is the longitudinal section. Place it on the right or left side, wherever you like on the image. Now this is the longitudinal section of the prostate. <coughs> Measurement, well, straight away, uh, you will have one in your, on your machine, which will give you the calibration as well as the, well, uh, as well as the volume of the prostate, first get the longitudinal, and this measures 13.9 millimeters or 3.19 centimeters. Okay, now take the width, it is 3.62 centimeters, and then get the depth. It is 3.26 centimeter, and the volume uh, is automatically uh, given to you is 19.7. Now the second method if you want to apply will be that uh, you multiply the length, width and depth uh, and then multiply with 0 0.527 that is but you measurement of the length, measurement of the width, measurement of the uh, depth Okay, and then multiply with 0 0.527, you will get the answer in grams, uh, that of the uh, volume of the prostatic gram. So this is how we uh, calculate the volume of the prostatic gland and we measure the prostatic gland. Thank you very much.